Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and I have another project for you today. Today we're making a quick and easy, like super quick and super easy, pocket tissue holder. It's a great project for beginners and great to give as gifts as well. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com for even more sewing and crafting projects. Alright, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need a piece of backing fabric measuring 3.5 inches by 5.5 inches. You need two pieces of front fabric measuring 3.5 inches by 5.5 inches. You need another two pieces of fabric for the front, these measuring 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. If you have pinking shears, those will be helpful. And of course, you'll need your pocket tissue packs. You can find the full supply list at debsdays.com. I've added a link in the description below this video. And if you're interested in a written version of this project, I have the pattern available in my Etsy shop. I've also added that link below. We're going to start the project with some ironing. Take your front fabrics and fold them lengthwise with the right sides facing out and press them. Then take your square front fabrics with the right sides facing out and fold them in half and press them. Now take your back piece of fabric and place it with the right side of the fabric facing up. Grab one of your longer pieces of your front fabric and place it along the long edge of the base piece. Make sure those raw edges line up. Grab the other one of your longer pieces and place it with the raw edges lined up. Grab one of your shorter pieces. Align the raw edges with these raw edges. Same on the other side. Align the raw edges. And then it's time to do a little bit of folding. Go ahead and fold back your short end on the right side and lift your longer piece and then place that shorter piece underneath and the longer piece back on top. On the other side, we're going to fold back the short piece at the bottom, lift up the long piece and tuck the short piece underneath. I'm going to grab my clover clips and I'm going to put these all around to hold this all in place. We need to use a quarter inch seam allowance to go all the way around this entire thing. When I get to the midpoints, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce it with some stitching back and forth and back and forth on both sides. You could do a zigzag stitch all the way around to finish the edge if you'd like. I prefer pinking shears, so I'm going to trim mine between the stitching and the edge of the fabric all the way around and turn the entire thing right side out. You may need to use something to get up in the corners. And then it's time for the pocket tissues. Depending on your brand, you may have a pack that opens in the middle or a pack that opens on the end. It doesn't matter which ones you have. You could just cut a little slice in the back of the pack or you could take the entire pack of tissues out and place them into your new holder. It really is that easy to whip up this pocket tissue holder. If you want to try a different design, come on back next week when we make this one instead. You can find that video by subscribing to my YouTube channel or stopping by the blog at debsdays.com. It'll be under that sewing and crafting section. See you next week for that next project.